hi what's up how is going to that video we are going to be designing a social media birthday you know a flyer in corridor x7 so we are going to make use of this two pictures this background was downloaded in freepit.com you can go to freepit.com and, and download you can type uh, you know a uh, background then it will uh, pops out so many you know background you can choose from you know for this project i'm gonna use this background so if you want to have access to freepid.com let me give you the full you know uh, uh the full details about them you can go type f r w e p p for pick then i c no i i k you know free uh f r w e p i k dot com so right now let's step on it so this is uh, this image we're gonna make it bigger so let's go ahead and locate uh what's it called uh ellipse to create an ellipse to just like so you know create an object just like so a little bit uh oval can you see that click once again so after i have click once again you're gonna see an indication shows up you know around the object like an arrow you know like a directional arrow asking you which way do you want to go if you decide to go this way to squeeze it nice but if you decide to just have it you know rotate i think this rotate will be okay so let's just have it just like that good so what we're gonna be doing now is to make uh the model bigger is the one doing bad there so let's make it a big long that's nice so right now let's go ahead and power clip this into place before we go further we needed to change this color of the object so let's bring that out so what we are going to do right now is to go ahead and convert it to bitmap go ahead convert to bitmap then right from here a dollar bo box pops out so you don't have to perform uh, a little bit of task right here because we are changing it to a uh, grayscale so uh click on this arrow right here you're gonna have a drop down you know options you know asking you that means prompting you what do you want to uh, select so go ahead and choose a grayscale a bit can you see that so after that it's okay good it's definitely it's gonna change the appearance of, of the what's it called of the objects so let's wait a while for that actually uh the hub just a bit bigger so we just have to uh wait a while for that so let's reduce the whole thing so that we can have a fast you know process so good so right now what we're gonna be doing bring this out so we're gonna have to create an object on top of this so what we needed to do is to locate uh what's it called uh, rectangle to click on that then create an object on top of that so what we are going to do is to sample the color that will be uniquely you know uh you know presentable alongside with this picture so let's go ahead with uh color hydro part to sound uh click on that then you sample the color that you needed to take effect on the uh, on the what's it called on the background after that point on the object good can you see that so let's go ahead to select uh what's it called transparency to click on that then you go over to this this drop down menu and change the blending mode to uh subtract i think this is nice so let's use a uh, uh, multiply <laughs> that's not it so subtract will be okay good so so right now let's go ahead and lighten uh let's give uh what's it called the background a little bit of lighting right there go ahead to effect then you select adjust then you go over turn off so so right now let's drag this up a bit good so can you see the effect right there it okay so let's select the whole thing convert to bitmap so right now what we're gonna be doing is to select you know drop that menu right here and choose a uh, rgb it okay with the wire for that to initiate good can you see that so right now let's power clip that into place good into the object let me show you how to power clip go ahead after i'm have selected the object go ahead to object then you go over to a uh, power clip then hit on uh what it called place inside frame 
you know instantly you're gonna be prompted with an arrow asking you which way to go can you see that select the object automatically it snapped into the object so to adjust this you just have out to a quick one let's hold alt key select the object then you adjust or but as you right click then go over choose edit per clip it takes you right inside the container so you can adjust so that's that so to opt out of this place so all you need to do is to right click then hit on finish editing level there yeah, takes you right here so right now let's park the, uh, the whole woman into this space after that hold out key then let's adjust that good 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 so all we need there to do is to make a copy of the object center it all up with the other one then you go ahead click outside right click on the hop, uh, the the hopper mouse uh, object then you right click then you choose so many pops out then you choose extract then let's delete the background then delete the object in which we have it extracted from so let's select the image of the uh, old woman go ahead to your uh, what you call shape tool let's drag from the bottom pull that up there you have uh, you know a image just like so good so what we're gonna be doing now is to bring in the test then you go ahead make that white control page up so make that bigger so we're gonna have to uh, arrange this in a corner so let's go ahead and have it hit control k to break it into pieces then let's go ahead and break the name into pieces as well so right now make this bigger then let's have this uh, chain to tie to guess let's go ahead and use a script font hello paris or oh, edward good edward font it's nice so set outline to white as well then go ahead bring this beneath so let's have the uh, dates right outside so So I have this uh what's it called this object a uh, flurry object that I can change uh maneuver to become something else right from here click once let's rotate good so let's make it bigger good group it all up so right now what we're gonna be doing is to flip to the other side and get to the side right click after I'm a hold on control key then right click automatically copy paste so so let's pull that side a bit then let's bring in uh, the hedge change to gold then let's go ahead and perform a little bit of uh, what's it called effect right there let's make that white it should be gold let's right uh, click right drag the gold on top of the object then release option pops out and choose copy your properties automatically it takes effect copy that beneath then you go ahead right click convert to curve then let's use our shape tool right here double click then drag down good can you see that so right now let's type at at one whole five good so can you see that so we've achieved that already so let's group it good so mind you it has to be uniform so we are going to change uh, this name into a uh, good as well so what we need to do is to uh, convert that to uh, what's it called cough go ahead to this list let's convert the outline to objects automatically we have that so let's wet it all up select that wet then let's drag the code on top of it release then choose copy your properties automatically you have it change good so right now let's uh, 
dark in this background a bit so that we can see the effect of the gold that we put on it so let's track this down good nice one it's okay good so what we're gonna be doing now is to go ahead and have this let's type happy birthday in capital letter happy birthday happy birth birthday so go ahead to your shape to increase the tracking just like so good position it up, all up just like so good so we're gonna have to make this uh, enter right from here enter and then use your shape to put a help a bit good so let's have it aligned to the other side right alignment then let's create a line just like so <coughs> it have 12 let's have it dotted line make it one point it's okay good click once again <coughs> Excuse me. So let's adjust the dead downward a bit. Good. Can you see that? Go ahead, create an object on top of that. Let's make it white. Then center back. Just have to keep it simple. Nice one. So let's go ahead and just make a copy of this forward, just like so. Extract the content. Then right click go ahead to frame type then choose none so we are going to perform magic right here squeeze it a bit good good so let's go ahead to hit on f12 let's make it you know two we're gonna have to make it dot that line it's okay good so let's go ahead convert to golf go ahead to your shape to let's click right here then you uh, break golf double click automatically it breaks then double click right here then double click at the at this extreme entry here yeah? automatically you have this good so let's go ahead and uh, add a shadow to this go ahead and a shadow with the wire for that in the shade then you go ahead and break drop shadow apart automatically you have that good so can you see that here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button to subscribe and uh, don't forget to hit that like button and share your opinion or your opinion on this and uh, share it to your friends and all of that and don't forget to uh, support me right beneath and become a member so hit on that uh, link beneath and uh, let's uh, interact with a uh, shout that I shout to you and all of that so as always in my channel see you in the next video bye for now